All right, guys. Since we moved this site from localhost to our custom domain, uh, the domain name has been changed, right? We have to correct that in the Google Developer Console. Okay, same for the Facebook Developer Console also. So here, uh, in the new tab, let me go to developers.facebook.com. Okay, go to my apps. Here, this is the app we created for our application. Uh, click on this. Okay, in the settings, basics, uh, we have added our link in the site URL, right? Here, the site URL is not the uh, local host anymore. Okay, we have to change this. Uh, but before that, uh, one thing I want to tell you whenever we use Facebook and Google services, we have to make sure that our site has SSL installed. Okay, so in our domain, SSL is not installed, correct? So if you want to install this SSL, you will have to uh, upgrade your Dino, which is in the Heroku. So let me show you Heroku.com. Here, click on the app and the settings here uh, scroll down and uh, you will see this configure SSL okay this is the certificate so for this you have to upgrade to paid dynos okay so if you don't want to pay for this SSL then I will tell you another way which is to configure our Facebook login with Heroku's uh, default application URL okay which is uh, uh, this one okay Heroku open when you say Heroku open it will take you to the default application layer default application URL here it is this is the one see this has SSL installed okay the, uh, you can see connection is secure all right now copy this one if you are okay with paying for the SSL then just go ahead and uh, copy this URL okay with the HTTPS and if you don't want to pay for that then, then just copy this one and in the uh, site URL here paste this okay and say save changes okay so now uh, let's see uh, what happens when you click on login uh, click on this Facebook Now we can see uh, successfully signed in as Ratan. Okay, that is that means our Facebook login is working. So let me fix uh, Google now. Just log out from here and the same thing. Let me open this new tab. Let's see Google Developers Console. This is the one console.developers.google.com. You will be taken to the uh, dashboard here. Uh, select a project. This is the project we added. Okay, make sure your project is selected here and go to the credentials. Here in the OAuth 2.0 client IDs, click on this name. Okay, this is where we have to change. Okay, this is the one and we have to change this authorized redirect URL also okay so what we'll do is just copy this one and paste it here okay uh, remove this forward slash and here also let's uh, delete this up to uh, 8000 and paste it okay so this will be the authorized redirect URL now save it Okay, that's all. Client ID, secret key, uh, everything will be same. Okay, you don't have to touch anything. Now, if you go back to the uh, login and uh, click on the login with Google, then it should be working fine. All right. Uh, click on the Google. Oh, sorry. Social app matching query does not exist. Right. So in this case, what we will do is so let's go to the admin. 
login as admin social application here go to google login okay in here you just have to click on this cartoon app.co and select this uh, right arrow okay now select this one and save all right now it should be working uh, let's uh, log out from here now go back to the login again and uh, let's see now if i think it should be working now let me click on this google all right now you can see the login is working okay all right successfully signed in as Datami. all right so i think uh, that's it guys uh, we have completed our project so this text and titles you can change it by yourself okay so this is just a dummy text all right so that's it guys